Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. We're going to check the temperature. See what's coming in, going out, going on for the love Scorpios. This is going to be a general reading, so you already know my spill. Eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. This will also be a timeless reading. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. For anyone who may be new, my name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I'm also empathic. I'm also clairaudient. I'm also intuitive. I do incorporate music into the reading. So right now we have Tedra Moses. The name of this song is Rescue Me. So the first word I heard with rescue me is I heard the word surrender. I feel like someone's coming in uh, to rescue you. Um, maybe, you know, unbeknownst to you, this person is on their way in to rescue you. They're going to be like your savior. Um, so I'm, I'm not feeling like you're a damsel in distress or you're someone that needs rescuing, but I feel like the divine is almost sending someone that's going to, um, be a great support system, be a great provider, a great partner. Um, I'm feeling like it's a sacred union. Um, and look what cards on the bottom of the deck. We got initiation. So it's almost as if like, you know, this message came in in the reading before the last. So this this person's being initiated. So that's like they're they're going through a process. The divine is putting them through a process, pruning them, preparing them to come into you. And so I feel like, you know, with the word surrender, I feel like this person's about to take action to come towards you and you're going to need to surrender to the process um so that's very interesting what came through so let's go ahead call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe i call upon our beautiful ancestors angels archangels ascended masters deities animal totems earth mother gaia universe source of the divine most high god our creator to shine a powerful message of love and light I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition, discernment, help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, vibrations of my cards, and so it is, so mote it be, Ashe. So let's go ahead, let me get my foot down so I can cut the deck, so divine spirit of love and light, what's coming and going out, going on? So we have Tedra Moses saying, rescue me. And then I was hearing strongly the word surrender. So someone's coming in to rescue you. This is someone that's like the yang to yin. The balance card is here. So this person's coming in to bring balance. I feel some of you have also received some sort of um, karmic justice. Things are now in your favor, balanced, in alignment. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're in emotional equilibrium. You're very grounded. You're in alignment. You're spiritually awakened. So a lot of you have done shadow work. A lot of you, um, maybe you feel like the ancestors, your angels, your spirit team have rescued you from a very traumatic, toxic circumstance or situation. And so now your life is back in equilibrium. Yeah, you've got your power back. So many of you have tapped into your divinity as divine feminines and masculines. You're owning your power now. I feel like you've uh, had a lot to do with you being uh, protected or being rescued from a circumstance because I feel like you took on and channeled you know, your inner witch, your inner warlock, your inner wizard. Um, and I feel like your ancestors, you know, you summoned the assistance, you summoned the power you know, the protection of your ancestors and your guides. So you're very powerful, Scorpios. This is your season. So you're very powerful at this time, very intuitive, very psychic. A lot of you are focusing your intentions on what you want. So let's see what's coming in. What is Scorpio attracting? So it looks like you're attracting a very um, loving union partnership. And we have the um, song Action playing. So I do feel like um, there's going to be some forward movement in terms of um, a love connection, a love dynamic, because I see fertility. So maybe you'll be meeting the yang to your yin with this balance card and fertility. Um, it's showing masculine and feminine energy. Uh, some of you could be tapping into your creative um, and artistic gifts. I feel like this brings a lot of balance, a lot of centeredness to you. Many of you could be honing your skills as that witch, that warlock, that wizard. 
and you're creating magic spells, you're creating um, protective spells, protective oils, anointing oils, protective candles. I feel you're also very protected. I feel your angels, your guides, your spirit team has you very protected. Something you do also is um, in the craft, like you are a spiritualist. So you have a duty. I feel like you know how to protect yourself. You fortify your boundaries. You don't just allow anyone in. You're very particular about who you deal with, who you allow in your inner circles. I feel like you don't trust many people. I think someone's coming in. You know, someone's taking some sort of action um, to come towards you because who you're attracting. This person can see you as, like I said, the yang to their yin. They can see this as a very sacred connection or sacred union. So let's see how they feel about Scorpios. They feel you're very secret, very mysterious. You know, you're a nut they want to crack. There's something about you that's very interesting. And they love you. And, and I feel this passion, this interest, this, you know, this deep interest they have. Maybe they're keeping it a secret, you know. Maybe they're, you know, they see you as someone very informed, very wise, very intelligent. You know, they see you always mastering your craft, sharpening your sword. You're always in a very studious energy. So it's like whatever you say you're going to do, you know, you do it. You make it happen. But you're always learning. You're always growing. You're always evolving. But they also feel that there's a lot about you that's very um, mysterious. There's a lot that they don't know. So you have depth. And this person's ready and prepared to take some sort of action towards you. They see you as the alchemist. So you have star quality. You could also be cooking up, you know, a lot of spells, a lot of, um, you know, like a lot of spells, a lot of potions and elixirs at this time. I feel like many of you are learning, you know, so maybe you are in the craft and you're, you know, learning the skill set. You're in the metaphysical, in occult and esoteric information. So you could be learning. I feel like whatever it is you do, you're very private about your practice. You don't showboat. You're not showboaty. You don't disclose everything. You're very private, but you're skilled because we saw that power card and you have that protection card that showed up. So I do feel like you are very protected, spiritually protected, divinely protected, divinely guided. You are an alchemist, so it's almost like you know how to transmute situations and you also have released something. So something has, um, you know, I feel there was some negative circumstance but you are turning it into something powerful so you know how to uh, create the change in your life by focusing and setting your intention and so we have Nas and Damian Marley here and this is called um, patience so you've been very patient in the process of honing a skill or mastering some sort of craft this has required patience you've learned patience is a form of action so you've been very proactive in learning something. And this something is in the form of magic. You changing your circumstance. You knowing that you have the power to change your circumstance. And you've discovered that because you're now in alignment. This, this bird is a messenger. So I feel like you've received some sort of divine intervention that, you know, you, you have the skill sets. You have a gift that has been lying dormant inside of you that needs to be unlocked. That's a part of the shadow work that you had to do. And that's what's brought this balance is because it's almost like there was a part of you that you was not responding to. There was a calling inside of you. Something was earth unearthing inside of you. And for a long time, it went unanswered. You know, it went unaddressed. But I feel like as, you know, as uh, life has progressed and as the journeys, you know, you've been um, traveling, you know, and the experiences you've been having and the cycles you've been completing, I feel like that's how you were able to restore the balance within yourself, find the balance within yourself and in your circumstance. I see here that you have absolutely morphed into a very powerful manifester. 
you know, a co-creator with source, utilizing the elements around you, knowing your power, being patient with the process. Good things take time to create. And that's what this is. Studious energy, very private, in your own protective bubble, mastering your craft, honing your skills, learning, very studious energy. That's very beautiful. So God, spirit of love and light. You're a magician because the magician has the book of shadows and the magician, you know, practices, you know, this is about, you know, apply application, you know, applying some of the magic that you have learned and discovering that it works. So what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. So grounding. So you're finding your, 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 um, you're, you're getting your mojo back. There's a sense of feeling grounded now, feeling, you know, in alignment, feeling that sense of oneness, wholeness, in harmony, you know. And it's because you've discovered that you are the sole controller of your destiny, you know. That was the balance that you were able to discover or obtain. You know, and this groundedness has you feeling very stable, you know, very secure now. You know, there's a sense of practicality. And it required a lot of patience, but there's a sense of you, you know, regaining this peace. And you're going through a startling metamorphosis, a major transformation, because you've gone through... A death of something. What wasn't growing died. You know, this is the dead of winter. So everything is dead. All of nature is dead. But I feel like this death is in fact a rebirth for you because you know how to transmute energy. And that's why you're feeling very grounded, very balanced and in alignment. And it's because you're going through this transformation. So there's a level of, you know, graduation you've graduated you've ascended you know you've gained a different perspective you've come into spiritual awakening a spiritual alignment and you have a greater sense of understanding of who you are so what is the outcome thank you spirit all right in the bottom of the deck we have clearance so you're clearing out what no longer serves you this is clearing up and wrapping up a, cy a cycle you know, this is also clearing out any bad juju, voodoo, hoodoo. You could be doing um, smudging in your homes, but you are clearing out and, and purging, you know, what no longer serves you. We just, um, you know, there a Diwali just passed, and that's a time to clean and clear the house, you know, your home, your space, get rid of old things, old clothes, old furniture. And replace it with something new. So some of you could have been, you know, celebrating Diwali. So cheers to all of you who are doing that and celebrating that or who have celebrated. So we have in the outcome, we have concealment. So there's something being concealed, being hidden, you know, from you. And I feel like it's because, you know, you have established boundaries and you've learned to establish boundaries uh, because you've obviously have come back into balance. So something was throwing you off balance, out of balance. You are out of equilibrium, but you have um, regained that balance. And we have respect. So you have a lot of respect, um, perhaps in your place of em employment, maybe something that you do. Um, is seen as you know very um, very successful I feel like you're also respected because you've you know somehow have regained a sense of independence you know self-reliance you're very grounded you're stable so you know someone is respecting you you know maybe someone's hidden you know has been hiding or concealing you know the fact that they have this respect and maybe you know there's going to be 
you know, someone's going to take action to communicate something to you, express something to you, because they're hiding it right now. You know, there's a sense of them hiding it, their back is turned, so you don't know who this is. It's almost like a secret admirer. But this person is not coming in because you have established boundaries, so some of you all may have, you know, absolutely, you've been in like the protective bubble, you know, and you're already seen as someone who's very secret, very private, very much to yourself in your own, you know, kind of like in your own world, in your own bubble, you're learning. So you're not allowing any distractions at the time because you've established boundaries. And we have, um, all I need is you. So yeah, someone is concealing the fact that they are, you know, perhaps a little attracted to you. You know, they feel that you somehow are very nurturing, you're very earthly or down to earth. Um, this is someone you could have met at your place of employment because I feel like this person has a lot of respect for you. They may see you as someone very independent, very self-sufficient, you know, self-reliant. We have the prosperity card on the bottom of the next deck that I'll be using. So you do have a lot of pentacles um, that you're going to be making, that you're going to be... Um, manifesting because we have respect here so something you're doing is going to put you in the limelight there's some sort of reward recognition some sort of payout that you're going to receive i feel like it's impertinence to some idea you know maybe you had some sort of like innovative idea and you put it into motion and now you're garnering the respect of like your peers that are in also in the practice i feel a lot of y'all are definitely in the practice and so when you've learn to stand erect, stand alone, you know, when you were in solitude, you've learned or regained the sense of balance. Someone or something that you was involved with, had, it was bringing you out of balance. So maybe you weren't being your authentic self in a partnership. And so you needed to be single in order to establish the sense of you know, independence, because that's ultimately what's leading to your strength and your success. You have to know that you could stand alone in order to, you know, survive and not be codependent in a relationship. And so when you learn to stand alone, that brought you back into balance because you were in a partnership that was codependent. And so it was throwing you out of the equilibrium. And so we have scissor playing supermodel. So someone sees you as very beautiful and attractive. Like you could be a supermodel. Maybe some of y'all are really tall and slim and slender. And you just have the, you know, the body of like a supermodel. Or maybe someone tells you all the time that you're beautiful and you could be a supermodel. Maybe someone is just very attracted to you. You know, they find you to be very alluring. With bodies of water, I feel like many of you... Um, I've really been cleaning, clearing, and cleansing, um, you know, just your energy, just your, your physical body, you know, by, you know, releasing what no longer serves you, breaking generational curses, letting go of the things that don't serve you anymore. I feel like you're feeling recharged and rejuvenated, and this could be what's, you know, drawing in this, this masculine energy or feminine energy that's looking to you as someone that's very alluring, someone that they could have a family with or a child with, come into union, sees you as a, someone very sacred. So with this purification process, I definitely see that, you know, someone is kind of like, yeah, I feel like they're, they're going through a deep cleansing of their own. That's a sense of mirroring because they. I felt like your energy was that bodies of water. And now we have this purification. So someone is kind of like preparing themselves, you know, for this union. You know, maybe they're tapping into their creativity. They're being more artistic. I definitely feel like they are, um, you know, releasing what no longer serves them in terms of love, walking away from any loveless connections so that they could come into union. With the arts, I definitely feel like many of you 
may have a talent that you have not even exposed to people. People may not even know, you know, who you, that you are a singer or that you are a hip hop artist or that you play an instrument. You know, I feel like a lot of you have been honing this skill privately, you know, and that's why you've been kind of like in your own bubble. I feel that you all are, it's just a part of your destiny to, to manifest, to create, you know, to be in um, that creative bubble, creating, making music, making art, healing. The person that sees you, sees you as grounded. The person, that's what's hidden in the energy. They see you as someone that could be their true love. And this is the true love that, you know, the universe is delivering to you because of the changes that you've made. By you showing that you could stand direct, stand alone, you're now being assigned someone that you could have a beautiful, powerful connection and a sacred union with. This person... I feel is definitely an opportunity, a golden opportunity. This person sees you as such, sees you as very beautiful. There's a lot of water reference here. So I do feel that's your energy, um, Scorpios. But there's been a deep healing internally. And so, you know, maybe what's being um, hidden from you is someone's deep love, deep passion. And we have Miguel Skywalker. So I do feel like this person, you know, it's kind of like up in their head, but they will, um, they will reveal it, what they what they're feeling, because I feel like they're gonna finally turn around and reveal who they are, you know, reveal what they feel, you know, and they just have to take the opportunity to do so and communicate, because with Skywalker, you know, and then we have this boundaries, um, maybe they've been, you know, you know, been hiding what they're feeling because they do feel and sense that you have been kind of like in a protective bubble with this Aracora it is blossoming so this this opportunity to have dialogue with this person is uh, is coming so the divine is telling you to be receptive because you know the boundaries you've established is you know kind of like throwing someone off so you know you have to be open you know to what's about you know to what's coming in in order for it to come in so you have to you know, allow yourself to be received. I mean, allow yourself to receive. This person is attracted to you, you know, mind, body, and spirit. They love your free spirit, you know. And I also feel like, like I said, whatever you're creating, you know, I feel like it's in the practice, you know. And I feel like whatever this is, it's garnering the respect of, you know, like your peers. Because we have this pentacles. And you're going to be very financially set and stable because we did have that prosperity card in the beginning and this is the energy you're in you're you're really um protective right now because you're honing some sort of gift so you know you're really taking that necessary time to devote into the craft you're connecting with your ancestors your spirit team you know with that bodies of water many of you could be visiting bodies of water in pain homage and giving offerings to your beautiful uh, deities, ancestors. I feel like you are garnering the respect also of your ancestors because of the time you devote to your sacred spaces. And I feel like your ancestors are blessing you with some sort of financial um, return. And what did I say about you answering some call? So this is, uh, whatever you're doing, it's something you're very passionate about. And I feel like you're you're being more honest, you know, and true, you know, to what you truly desire to do. You know, what your heart's desires are. And I feel like many of you are seeking wise counsel by going to your altars, meditating, contemplating, and, and receiving the downloads. You know, because you could see this person is like lighting candles, so they're spending time in front of their altars you know, paying homage, giving, you know, pouring libation, lighting candles, you know, to set the intention. And so with this home here, there's going to be a very positive change. Something's changing either internally in your physical body, you know, your vessel and your avatar, 
So some of you could be eating right, you could be changing your diet, you could be more physically active, you could be doing some yoga, you could be doing more meditation, you could be uh, practicing breathing techniques. Um, with Crane in the Sky, I do feel, this is by Solange, I feel like there's some sort of grand epiphany that's going to take place. Maybe someone, um, some of you all will be coming into union with someone. I feel like just as the divine said, you have to be receptive because you're very, very protective of your energy. So you have like fortified your boundaries and created a uh, impenetrable wall. And that's why the divine is like, look, you got to open up a little bit. You know, you, you, you have to allow yourself to receive, you know, because boundaries is showing up twice. So, you know, communication is something that will come in and can come in, but you have to be open to receive it and with cranes in the sky cranes are messengers it's a bird totem an animal you know bird animal totem so i feel like it's like there can there's a message that's coming in you know but i feel like you have to be you know you have to be receptive you have to be intuitive you know and when you are receptive and you allow yourself to receive when you're open to receive then that increases your intuition and your energy. And so you have to be open. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's see what's coming in, going out, going on with our beloved Scorpios. All right, so we got a couple of messages that flipped over, flipped around, and these two messages want to come out as well. So, so next we have completion. So obviously you you completed a cycle and the lesson that you needed to learn was independent to be independent because you were in a karmic relationship so you've successfully completed that task and that's why you've regained your balance that's why you're back in harmony and alignment because you've completed a cycle highest number of change you changed the fact that you did not know initially that you you know your independence was that foundation for your strength and your ultimate success so completing that cycle has now, you know, removed, you know, whatever blockages or delays. So next we have spirituality. So your person is gaining a stronger sense of spirituality. They're listening and trusting their intuition more. They're going through some sort of purification process, a cleansing, releasing, purging. And this is birthing something new within them, unearthing something new within them, passion, desire. This person communicates with you telepathically, communicatively. Um, you all will, you know, um, I feel like this person communicates with you telepathically or intuitively. And this person is also spiritual, also in the craft. With this perseverance, you've persevered through a lot, which is why you've learned the art of transmuting negative energy. Some of you all took it to, you know, to the books. You started to learn more about your skill, about your talents. Some of you all went back to school. Some of you started to master your craft, hone your skills. But you've persevered through some sort of toxic situation, but it brought you back into emotional equilibrium, back into balance, because this is what balance is. And this is emotional balance. So you've had to learn, you know, to love thyself. And you learn to love thyself because you were mistreated, but you learn to transmute that energy by focusing on the power, you know, on regaining your power. So perseverance is your energy. You've regained the sense of stability. And we have um, loose ends hanging on a string. So that's what you were persevering from. You tapped into your creative and artistic skills, transmuted the energy, channeled the hurt and pain into something productive, something, you know, creative. And that's allowed you to push past whatever, you know, hurt that you were initially feeling. And so next we have love partnership. Then we have this true love. This is what's hidden in the energy. So this person that's coming in is going to be very devoted, very in love, very invested for long term, focused on building a nucleus, a family, planting seeds and roots. They see you as someone maternal or paternal. This is someone that can feel like this is wish fulfillment. This is someone that you could have manifested. This person feels that you are very beautiful. And this person may be, you know, with you got me hanging on a string. 
It's like this is how you may be feeling. Is like you're just kind of hanging, hanging and dangling on because someone's concealing this. But they are trying to pick the right time, the opportune time to come in to express these feelings and emotions. They do know that this exp this connection can be not only sacred, but it's a golden opportunity for them. This is something they've been also asking, praying for. This person's wearing a cloak, so I do feel that your person, especially with the spirituality card, they're also in the practice. So not only are you highly spiritual and highly informed, I feel like you're attracting someone also in the practice, also in the occult or esoteric because they have spirituality. So I feel like this person is, um, you know, concealing themselves but they will eventually reveal it because they are going to recognize that this is a situation that is um is golden you know it's written and so you you know right now it's you may feel like it's taken a long time to manifest and i feel like the divine is opening this opportunity and it's up to you know whoever's concealing their identity and not expressing their feelings because they're like a secret admirer they're going to have to, you know, walk through that door of opportunity in order to get it. I feel like with the in the beginning, there was a message, um, dang, I can't even remember. But it was like a secret admirer, and I was hearing the word surrender. So this person's going to have to surrender, you know, and get out of their head, not be fearful. We have creativity here. So absolutely, there is a sense of, you know, you were setting these boundaries because you were in a very cre creative space. You didn't want any distractions. So you may have like, you know, put your phone on airplane mode. You created a protective bubble and you were creating, you know, reinventing yourself, healing, growing, evolving, strengthening yourself even. And so that's why the divine is saying, allow yourself to receive. Um, because, you know, I feel like a lot of you are just kind of lost in whatever you're, um, whatever you're passionate about and your ideas, you know, so, um, oops, I'm sorry. So with this, with this golden opportunity, this is the creativity card. So someone's building up the strength. This yellow deals with the solar plexus. So that's like the sun within us that shines within. So the sun that shines within is giving someone some sort of clarity. And they're going to reveal. There's going to be an epiphany. There's going to be some sort of, um, you know, illumination as to who this is that's concealing how they feel. So you may feel like you're, whole, you know, hanging on a string right now. But I feel like, you know, this person will, you know, perhaps they'll come in in a very creative manner, you know. But I do feel like this is something you're manifesting. Maybe they're trying to figure out, um, you know, a strategy, how to come in, how to cease this moment. With individuality, what did I say? Your independence, you know, this is, like we said, the foundation for your um, strength and your, your stability. So you were learning to be an individual, you know, which is why you created those boundaries because you were in a toxic codependent, you know, one-sided connection. So you've had to cut off what wasn't serving you, you know, but now, you know, you may have created too strong of a boundary, you know, you have your guards up and you're very defensive. So, you know, it was because you were learning to stand erect, stand alone, to become that individual, you know, to not be codependent on another person. So, we have this personal growth. So you have absolutely have grown. You've matured. You've evolved. You've ascended. This is a card of you, you know, learning, you know, trusting your intuition. And, you know, growing from the process. You know, being devoted to this process. Being devoted to your craft. You know, discovering what your passions are. And being fearless. Going after them with an unwavering, you know, when, with unwavering thought. We have um, Sir playing the evils. So you had to come against a lot of devils, you know, the evils, which is devil. You know, the evils is the name of the song. So you had to come against a lot of devils, a lot of satanic, 
you know, energy, a lot of demonic energy, a lot of incubus, succubus energy, energy vampires, leeches. And I feel like you've learned in the process of, you know, clean, clearing, and cleansing, you know, how powerful you are. You know, a lot of those demons resided within you. You were fighting your own personal demons. Because with this home, I feel like, you know, there were a lot of healthy changes because you created the change. By healing at a soul level, you changed something. By answering that internal call, you've unleashed and unlocked and unearthed something and it's erupted. So there's a new passion. You've devoted time connecting with your ancestors at your altars, at your sacred spaces. And now that's garnered some sort of respect in the spirit realm. Your ancestors are pleased with you. So you're going to receive blessings. You're going to receive some sort of success and stability in whatever it is that you're doing. So it's as if your ancestors are protecting you and, and rewarding you and guiding you on your path. And I see this personal growth. So it's as if the divine is like congratulating you. You're very intuitive. You're very spiritual. And as is your person, you know, the person you're attracting. So you, you two are mirroring one another on a sp soul level, on a spiritual level. Some of you could be seeing 777. Some of you could have been um, celebrated your solar return on um, November 9th, November 14th, November 7th. November 5th, November 4th, November 8th, November 2nd, November 6th, November 3rd, November 11th, November 7th, I said that already, November 2nd, so, you know, you all, happy solar return, happy belated to all of you, um, but yeah, you and your person are definitely mirroring one another, and that's why you had this completion, because you were completing a cycle, and I feel your person was as well, and that's why see that synchronicity so you both are in synchronicity you're both in um you're both in alignment with one another you're coming into alignment and that's again why i was picking up on this energy here because they are purifying something which means there's a cleansing they're detoxifying getting rid of purging releasing and it's to come into something new, to birth something new. Because this fertility is like birthing something new. This is also the divine feminine energy, divine masculine energy. So there, there's a creation of something, something's developing. And that's the connection that they're going to have with you. So let's get some messages from my deck. Let's see what we have. And so we have... Um, Naji, bet you don't know. So, like I said, secret admirer. That's the message I'm getting with bet you don't know. So, you don't know who this is. Um, you know, this person is hiding and revealing their feelings. You got a secret admirer. I was trying to do a different type of reading, but you guys have love on your heels right now. Like, love is coming. Y'all keep asking when, and before you know, you're going to be like, oh, snap, it's here. And that's why the best thing you can do is, you know, to be working on yourself. To always be building. Always be building. Always be working on yourself. Self-improvement. That way when they do come in, they're going to come in correct. You know what I'm talking about? Mama Yemenya. And she came out again. Look at that. So you do have golden opportunities coming in. And this says protect thy family. So this person is going to come in and they're going to be very much a protector. You know, I was picking up that message in the beginning of the reading as well. This person is going to be someone that's a protector, a provider. And it's because you've transmuted your energy of, you know, being in a codependent connection, which is the lack of love, the lack of self-love because you're overcompensating and giving more than you're receiving. But now you're back in balance because you've released, you've purged, you've completed a karmic lesson. So learning to love that self, learning your self-worth is what's now bringing someone in. And, the, and um, Naji is singing, bet you don't know what's going on. So there's someone coming in and you don't even have a clue how close this person is to arriving. And that's why the divine was telling me that word, surrender. That's why you're also being told to be receptive, to be open. 
So we have in the bottom of the deck, you will be the first millionaire in your family. It is written. So with that prosperity card that showed with the goddess guidance deck, and also with this respect card here and the pentacles, I'm, I feel strongly that whatever you all are doing, whether it's in the practice or even within your career, you will be very successful. This is a confirmation for some of y'all. So whatever you're doing, I feel like this is like a payback. Your, your independence is a foundation for not only your strength, but also for your success. So you're going to be successful, and it's because you have regained the sense of balance, this equilibrium. You've successfully completed a cycle, a karmic cycle, and I'm hearing you did so with great poise, dignity, integrity, and that's why you're being rewarded with some sort of financial blessing. Words are spells, and spells bind. Mind um, your words and stay protected. And this is your person's energy, the person you're attracting. So they are very spiritual and they know that, you know, there's some sort of bad juju, some sort of bad negative energy. You know, maybe they're around a bunch of neg negative Nancy, some sort of, de you know, um, very deceptive energy. And so I feel like, you know, this is what they're clearing out. They're purging. They're releasing that. So this person's like clearing up you know, whatever this is that they're dealing with. Um, and it's because, you know, they're, they're awakening, you know, they're highly intuitive. So they know something isn't right. And with this song, Naji, you know, bet you don't know what's going on. Maybe they've discovered someone that they're dealing with could be creeping, sneaking, could be, you know, doing some sort of um, spell work or whatever the case may be. So let's see, why is um, fertility, purification, spirituality here for the person Scorpio is attracting? And so we have, he loves me, he loves me not. And it says games, mixed signals. So yeah, just as I said, they're listening to their intuition because they feel like a lover or someone that they're connected to could be creeping and sneaking. And so they're going to pur purge this energy. They're going to release it. They're going to let it go. Because they, they, like, with Bet You Don't Know what's going on, He Don't Love You Like I Do, is playing by Najee. So this person feels like, you know, whoever they're dealing with, whatever karmic they're dealing with, there's mixed signals, they're playing games, and they don't have that type of time. So with spiritual baths are necessary, they're purging. And this is why we have this purification. This water is a cleansing. It's a deep cleansing that they're going through. So they're releasing something, you know, energetically. There's some sort of spells, hexes. And um, so they could be, you know, taking spiritual baths and they're receiving some sort of downloads. Um, why is Book of Shadows here? Secret, the arts, and perseverance for how this person will feel about Scorpio. This person is Scorpio's attracting. Why is secrets, the arts, and perseverance here? So this person has been like kind of in and out. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you've had to persevere through that. You know, maybe they feel you're, you know, you pop up on the grid and you disappear. And that could be why they feel, you know, the, the, there's this level of secretive, you know, this like you're secretive, you're, you're, you know, you don't reveal a lot or disclose a lot. So they may see you pop up and then pop out. You know, they may also see you as someone very, um, you know, impulsive and they question the reliability. But they also see you as someone very strong, very creative, you know, very artistic. So they do see, you know, you have these, these uh qualities about yourself but they also don't know how reliable you would be in a connection um, and it's because you blocked a lot of shit we already know that because you've established boundaries so someone's misconceiving that could be why they're concealing their feelings because they're unsure as to how you'll respond to them if they do come in maybe you know they feel you'll feel that way about them but you have blocked a lot of uh, things out of your life because you're not with the shit you're just not um, fucking with things that are not on your vibration and so they feel like you know that you have your wall up so they're unsure of how you will receive them maybe you perceive them to be flighty unreliable impulsive um, we have solar plexus playing by Oshun so this is what I was picking up with this energy the number three is the solar plexus so you know I feel like they are you know trying to muster up the strength and courage to come in because you know they got to try to break down that wall because this is really what they want they see you as a golden opportunity however their ego could have them a little uh, you know what i'm saying 
but you're going to be cheesing, cheesing from ear to ear. I feel like they definitely are going to come in to court you, you know, to, you know, to be very um, charming. You know, I feel like, you know, maybe you were dealing with someone in your past uh, that was a little crazy, a little foo-foo. And that's why you have your boundaries up, your guard up. You've blocked a lot of shit, you know, a lot of distractions out of your life. And so, you know, it's it's probably because you're a little crazy and, you know, dealing with a little crazy and deranged energy. But deep down, this person sees, you know, that you radiate love and light. They see you as a star. They see you as a, a wish fulfillment. You know, they see you as someone very strong-willed. Somehow you have turned your vulnerabilities into a super part, uh, a superpower. So why is Earth here? True love and love partnership. And that star, you radiate love and light, was, you know, on the bottom of the deck. So they absolutely are smitten, you know. So why is uh, grounded, true love, and love partnership here? Yeah, someone definitely is becoming illuminated. And so we have for the love of money. Um, so they do see you as someone very stable. Because it says for the love of money. So they can see you as someone who's just focused on your coins. You know, not particularly in love. You know, maybe someone is tr attracted to you because you're very stable. You have someone, I think you got two people coming in, you know, because um, I get two different energies all the time. That just doesn't seem to to go, you know, but this here with greed for the love of money, dough, cheddar, cheese and biscuits. This is someone who's just all about the coins. They're motivated by money. So maybe this person, you know, that's coming in, what's hidden in the energy is you could be, um, someone could be coming in. I'm going to get another card. We got manifest that shit. So you are like really money motivated, Scorpios. Y'all are really like, you know, focused on your, your, your coin, your stability, um, because maybe, you know, that codependent relationship did a number on your credit score. You know, it did a number on your savings account. And so now it's like, you you know, maybe somebody is really seeing you as someone who could be just like focused on money and not necessarily on love or maybe someone is coming in that's focused on your money you know somebody who feels entitled so let's see let's see what who is this why is this see this so this is that crazy deranged motherfucker somebody is really you know your your what's hidden in the energy is you got true love and you got this number 26 which is love partnership and then you have, you know, this energy of incubus, succubus. So you have somebody that's like a leech. This is an energy vampire. This is a parasite. And this is someone who's only with you because you are stable. They feel like you could help them financially. And you reap what you sow, karma, dharma. Somebody is not doing well financially while you, on the other hand, will be the first millionaire in your family because you have successfully completed a cycle. So whoever this person was that was codependent, somebody is returning because they need some coins. They need some assistance. This is what's hidden in the energy. So not only are you attracting true love, a love partnership, but you also have somebody from your past, an ex, a friend, a family member that you've cut off that feels entitled. Let me get one more message and then we're going to move on. So see that, so this is the energy that I was initially picking up with this person you're attracting. Because this is someone, they say you are beauty in every fashion of the word. And that flew out. So this is the person that you're going to have this true love uh, connection. This very beautiful, sacred union with. This love partnership with. And then there's also someone else that's trying to um, creep back in. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to creep their way back in but this is that crazy motherfucker that you have since blocked this is that unreliable energy that person you know maybe they may see you as flighty because somebody gonna come in and try to to dupe you you know try to come back and tell you all of this shit they think you want to hear you are very beautiful and attractive you know and you're naturally attracting everything that you desire because you are radiating love and light so you're going to attract Everything that you desire, everything that you want. So why is cloak here, concealment, golden um, opportunity, and creativity? So we have scheming, plotting, planning, backstabbing. Your love is one in a million. No one can match it. And secret admirer. 
Didn't I say that this person was a secret admirer? Remember, these three cards flew out as the outcome. The, the concealment, the um, boundaries, and the um, pentacle for um, respect. So two different type of energy. Someone's plotting, scheming, planning, a backstab. Like they're trying to block this obvious sacred union from coming into fruition. So they're planning some sort of way to do so. But there's also the secret admirer that sees that your love is rare. They see you as an earth angel, very beautiful, very alluring, very attractive. And they're thinking of some creative way that they can come in and reveal these feelings. Because this person is definitely smitten. But they feel like they're getting mixed signals. They feel like they don't know if you love them, if you like them. They don't know. Um, you know, so that's why they're kind of like not really letting you in on this deep emotion that they feel because this is the ocean. So that's deep emotion, deep love, deep attraction. This person wants to protect you. They want to be your protector. They want to protect you from the hurt, from the pain that you've experienced in your past. This person is a secret admirer. They love what they see. They love that you are um, very spiritual, very strong. They love your power. They love your connection to the divine because they too are that. So you two are matching one another's energy, but you also have some leech that's trying to still cling on, hold on to you as well because they know that you are coming into a very synergetic connection. Somebody is being drawn to you. They're very attracted to you. So why is boundaries, receptivity, individuality here? And this is the number 11. So I feel like this is the yang to yin. yin. This is two people that are whole coming into union. So that 11 is like the 1111 11 vibration frequency. So that's like I said, yin yang, divine masculine, divine feminine. That's two wholes coming together, which makes it a whole. So you have a card in here. So second childhood, exactly. So that's why you have your boundaries up because you was dealing with a very immature, childish person. They wasn't on your level. They wasn't on your vibration. They wasn't on your frequency. And so you had to cut that ass off. But you've established the same boundaries and that's why the divine is saying, look, you could let up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? How anybody gonna get in if you got that sword swinging? So be receptive because there is true love that's coming in. This person from your past that was, you know, dependent upon you, you know, you, you've cut them off. And I feel like you still have your guard up because they're still, you know, they're still, their energy is still very much um, affecting you, you know, because they're still thinking of you all the time. They're still watching you. So it's like you, you sense that intuitively, you know that. So this person, look at that. Four page letter. So somebody, the secret admirer, is really trying to make their way in. You know, they're penning you letters and it says, these are my thoughts. Should I send it? Text delete, text delete. So this person absolutely, you know, is wanting to reveal what they feel. But they're, they're definitely, you know, the secret admirer is um, trying to find the way to do so. You know, because maybe they're picking up energetically that you are very standoffish, that you're not necessarily open. And that's why the divine is encouraging you to be open, to be receptive, to let your guard down a little bit. We have be healthy. So this is what you want. You want healthy connections. You know what I'm saying? You want healthy dynamics. And that's what I was also saying. Like a lot of you have also been like changing your routine in terms of, you know, your physical body with this home. You're being more active. You're exercising more. You're eating right. You could be fasting right now. You know, purging, releasing, detoxifying also came out. You know, so somebody is, you know, perhaps going through a 21-day detox. You know, maybe you're doing a 7 or 14-day um, fast. Whatever it is, someone is like really seeking a sense of higher knowledge, you know, higher wisdom. And so they're implementing fasts, taking spiritual baths. They're doing what's necessary to receive the downloads. There's a lot of clarity and illumination. 
you know and i feel like you want healthy connections relationships you don't want nobody around that's just leeching and sucking you know your life force so you're cutting whatever doesn't serve you mirror reflects can they be a, a mirror a reflection of or the shadow side of you and so that's what you're trying to um that's what you're trying to you know discover like you're trying to find that out like you know who are these people coming in so you're trying to be discerning and i feel like you will receive the clarity because you know like i said somebody that is absolutely you know a past person that was very childish and immature they probably was like emotionally retarded didn't really know how to express themselves i feel like that's what you were you know dealing with in your past which is how you learned to stand erect stand alone be independent self-sufficient self-reliant and so now you are attracting someone on your vibration and that's what you're going to look for um in terms of making your decision you know so you're looking for someone that's healthy for you that's going to be Someone that you can surrender to. So why is um, respect, nematoma, sacred space, personal growth, divine passion, and home here for the outcome? So patience is also a form of action. Stay vigilant or diligent. So this is what you were doing. Good things take time to create. You know, this is time devoted. This is you mastering your craft, working on yourself internally, externally. You know, personal growth is all of that. You know, trusting and paying attention to your intuition. You know, following, you know, that spiritual guidance. Feeling, you know, those feels internally. Knowing when it's time to, you know, end the cycles. Following the cycles and rhythms of your own body. And also discovering, you know, certain passions. Honing your skills, mastering your craft in order to achieve a goal. To garner the respect of your peers as well as your ancestors your guides, your angels. See that sacred space. So this is, you know, you was very patient in this process of healing. You got sacred space twice. So a lot of the offerings, a lot of the, um, a lot of the honor that you have paid to your ancestors, they have acknowledged it. Um, and we have SOS band and it says, uh, tell me if you still care. So yeah, patience is a form of action. So someone is returning, um, or not even returning, maybe this is past life love, but someone is coming in, and I feel like it, it, it required patience because this person, as well as you, were both going through a pruning process. And I feel like a lot of the you know, prayers, petitions, a lot of the time you devoted, the attention, um, you know, the intention, that you devoted and focused upon is what's manifesting this love. But I feel like also loving yourself, you know, learning to love yourselves, you know, is teaching other people how to treat you. So by you being selfish and loving yourself and, and having fun on your own, this is naturally attracting the right people to you, which is why you have be healthy because you want healthy relationships, healthy dynamics. You don't want to be in no more toxic shit. You don't have no time. For that you're not even thinking um, about anybody um, you know if they are coming to you with some level of toxicity you want people who are emotionally intelligent and if they aren't you're gonna keep it pushing bottom of the deck we got the Empress energy flat out so you are the divine feminine divine masculine you know your worth you also know your value and so we got two additional messages in this card from a completely different deck so I manifest and connect to your higher self. So as I said, you are manifesting everything that's coming in. You are the master manifester, the sole controller of your universe, of your destiny. And you've realized that. And I feel like you received a lot of deep dives, a lot of downloads from your higher self, which is your Christ consciousness. And that's when and what, how you were able to, you know, to receive those downloads was because of the time that you was devoting to your sacred space and you was dealing with that childish incubus succubus energy this is somebody who's non-committal this is somebody who's just you know in and out flighty one minute they're here next minute they're gone you could have you know somebody could have got their um phallus burnt because that's a you know he's, he's holding up this burning um wand which could be very 
indicative of like, you know, a fallacious energy, like a, you know, the male phallus. But I feel like you've healed. You've healed from a lot of the pain, the hurt. You're in your energy. Someone wants to know if you still care about them, but you still see them as childish. You still see them as, you know, juvenile. And you 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 didn't focus on them. You focused on your your skills. You focused on, you know, building your wealth. You know, this is keeping your eyes on the prize, not getting distracted by anyone or anything. This is that same energy of, you know, secret. This is why your face is covered. Because you was working, whatever you was working on, you kept it secret. You wasn't out there, you know, giving disclaimers or disclosing your personal business. You 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 hitch, you kept those boots to the ground and you stayed focused on your goals, on achieving your goals. A lot of you worked your asses off. And this is why there's going to be some emotional fulfillment here. This is why you are in emotional equilibrium. You feel very um, complete, if you will. And somebody's trying to hold on. Talking about, tell me if you still care. You know, sending you SOS messages, telepathic messages, you know, bottom of the deck, four, four of pentacles. See that? So, you know, whatever you was doing, you, you really, you know, I feel like you were holding back from the things that were kind of distracting you. You finally put your guard up. You know, you blocked out the distractions. And you had that epiphany that somebody was trying to hold on to you or hold you back. You know, this is a very codependent type of energy. You know, this Four of Pentacles is like it's clinging on to you for stability. You got this Knight of Cups here. So there is someone coming in with a very loving message, you know. And I feel like this person is coming in to express their message or offer their cup of love. And this is that person that had that fertility, purification, spirituality. He loves me. He loves me not. So who is this person that Scorpio is attracting? we got the world card. So what did I say? They're going through a purification process where they're having a deep purge, a cleaning, clearing, cleansing. They're detoxifying themselves, clearing out their circles. You know what I'm saying? They're trusting their intuition in this process. They've gone through major changes, you know major change and they've had to um discover a lot of things about themselves uh but they're highly spiritual very intuitive very clairvoyant right now very learned they've they've learned a lot you know this is evolution this is ascension they could also be at a distance from you and i see the king of cups now so this could be somebody who's um very loving but they're also very reserved and so we have the Six of Pentacles, and we have the Three of Cups. So this person is like thinking of, um, you know, there's some sort of memory. So as I was saying before, we got a couple of suitors here, and then we got two cards that popped out. So I feel like you was dealing initially with somebody who was absolutely trying to give to multiple people trying to keep you in these, you know, third party scenarios and you block that energy because you discovered this person was like obsessively and possessively trying to control you. Um, and you took your necessary precautions and you blocked that energy out. I feel someone else is having a lot of memories. Maybe the two of you like to listen to music, go to live bands. There's just a sense that they have fond memories and they are thinking of those memories and they're cheesing from ear to ear. But I feel like this person may have some sort of tendency um, to be kind of like, you know, pop in, pop out on the grid one minute, out in the, the next. Or maybe they feel that way about you. With this three of cups, this is like a reunion. So I feel like this is someone that wants to be reunited with you. With the Six of Wands, this is again showing, or this is the Six of Swords. You may have, um, you know, moved away from that energy because you felt like that same person was, you know, not being honest, wasn't disclosing things, you know. And what they were not disclosing, especially because that King of Cups showed up, is their true feelings. They were hiding their feelings. And it was because they. this is self-deception. So they were creating some sort of mental conflict within themselves. You, on the other hand, have moved on. You know, you were courageous and powerful. You stood your ground and you went in a completely different direction. You may have moved away. You know, you may have just focused on something else, you know, channeled your energy into something else. But I feel like this person is really 
um, they really had to go through some sort of, you know, startling metamorphosis to see what they look like, how they come off, you know, because I feel this person definitely has you in their head a lot. They think about you a lot. And then we have soul sister playing. So they feel like you're a soul sister, soul mate. You know, this is a spiritual union, a soul connection. This is, um, we're about to tr um, clarify the true love, the love partnership as well as grounding. So this person does, you know, want to have some sort of dialogue, clear the air, repair a situation. But you can see you're looking past this situation. So you've already moved on from whatever this difficulty was. You've already moved on from, you know, whatever that toxicity was. So why is grounding true love um, and love partnership here and you are beauty in every fashion of the word? So we have the three of wands. So that three of wands, you know, somebody definitely was kind of trying to strategize a means, a method to take action to come in. Remember that song, Action Was Playing. So someone's trying to come in. They're trying to rush you away because they do feel that you are, you know, beautiful, that you are a great partner. And with this soul sister, they feel you are um, a soul mate, you know, that they can have a sacred union with you. And this is true love. So this is something the both of you feel. And the both of you have manifested this. They also feel you to be very domestic, very grounded, practical, resourceful, loving, nurturing, endearing. You know, you're someone that they can invest in long term. They're looking to build a legacy, build a family. They're looking for happily ever after. You know, this three of wands, like I said, this is that energy of um, taking action, going after what you want. But there's a sense of planning, preparing, strategizing, you know. And um, these two energies here, we have the Eight of Cups along with the Knight of Swords. And this is the energy. You walked away from this person um, because there was, no, there was a lack of emotional fulfillment or contentment. Because this person was only dealing with you for money. It says for the love of money, dough, cheddar cheese, biscuits. And it says greed. So someone was very greedy, and this is somebody who was like leeching off of you, living vicariously through you, and you said enough is enough, you know, and so you stood your ground, you walked away from that connection, because you knew self-love made you more attractive. This Knight of Swords, they're going to say something to you. There could have been a lot of like, you know, dialogue, but I feel like this person is going to communicate to you and try to say something to you, but it's only because they're in need. See that? There's a tower. So there's going to be a major change, a sudden upheaval. And this is because, you know, someone from your past is coming in. They're trying to create some sort of um, blockage because we got plotting, scheming, scamming, backstabbing. And I feel like that's what led to a tower moment in the past. But I feel like, you know, with this um, concealment, I feel like you are highly intuitive. And you gain some sort of epiphany. You followed your inner gumption because that solar plexus is all about your inner gumption so this tower moment this is a sudden upheaval an ending releasing the past starting a whole new fresh beginning so let's see why is um concealment golden opportunity creativity your love is one in a million secret admirer here and then we're going to clarify the backstabbing card afterwards thank you spirit so this one flew out first see that empress so someone definitely sees your love as one in a million because you are the divine feminine, divine masculine, if you're mas masculine energy. But this is why they see you as one in a million because you are. You are very wise, very well learned. You're very emotionally balanced, very powerful, very successful, very abundant. You know your worth and value. And you are a master manifester. And I feel like you're also very creative. You're very fertile. And that's the energy that this person feels. The person you're dealing with is the emperor. So this could be someone who's very frustrated and aggravated at the fact that you have since moved on to another connection, another partnership. And this person was very controlling, very domineering. And, um, and they was plotting and scheming and scamming. We have climax here. So you've reached your climax. You know, you've reached your climax with this situation. And this person is also going to release you know, reach their climax and they're going to take action. They're going to conceal something. 
you know, I feel like you and this person will be intimate. You will have a very passionate connection. Okay. Give me one moment, please. Okay. My bad. My son is in there making himself some breakfast and I just had to assist him. But yes. So, you know, this is this, you know, what I'm picking up is, you know, you definitely were in a soul um, connection in the past. I do feel like somebody was very um, domineering, very controlling. Um, this is somebody that was, you know, is scheming, plotting, and planning to kind of take you down. This could be the father to your child, mother to your child. This could also be like a boss, um, you know, a supervisor, or, you know, somebody that you are dealing with at your place of employment. But what I see here is there something being concealed from you. Um, so maybe, you know, whatever was being concealed initially has already been revealed because with this here, you know, I see that, you know, somebody absolutely is smitten. They're attracted to you. Um, mind, body, and soul. They see you as someone emotionally fulfilling, intelligent, you know, very nurturing. You have a very loving um, and innate nurturing ability, paternal energy, maternal. Um, someone is like, they're stopping at nothing. You know, it's almost like they're stopping at nothing to get you because this is a suit. You know, this is the empress and the emperor. And you got your back turned to that person already because, you know, you've already discovered like you, you enjoying your, your singlehood. You're enjoying, you know, being alone, your solitude. You've grown wiser. You've become more, you know, you no know, more aware, more in balance, more in alignment. And it's because you completed a cycle. You know, it was a destined event that took place you know it was meant for you to go through this you know to learn from that but i feel like ultimately um you know many of you have learned to embrace being alone um we have beyonce yes um and so we got the seven of cups here so there's going to be a lot of off a uh, lot of offers multiple offers um and as i said there's just dual energy so you're going to have multiple people um you know, courting you. And so I feel like you're going to know which ones to say yes to, who to say yes to, because you got to be receptive. So let's see why is um, boundaries, receptivity, individuality here. A four page letter and be healthy. And then we'll clarify this other energy. So why is receptivity boundaries? Thank you. So we have the two of wands. So this was somebody who's making a decision torn between the two. This is that Knight of Wands. So someone's making a decision. You know, somebody's up in their head trying to figure out, okay, should I send it? Should I should I not send it? You know, because this four page letter is like somebody is, you know, penning you a letter, letting you know how they feel. Um, they could have been stuck at a fork in the road. You know, maybe there's someone who has a child and maybe that's what kept them someplace. You know, but I feel with this energy, someone's finally making the decision to take action, to go after what they want. Um, and that's why the divine is telling you to be yes and say yes to that person, because this person has made a decision to come towards you. Um, they will make that decision to come out of hiding to reveal how they feel. And this player here has finally showed up for who they are. So mirror reflects. Can they be a mirror reflection of, of um, or the shadow side of you? Check yourself. So this person here, and we've got second childhood. So this person definitely um, is going through a shadow moment. And they're also um, very flighty, you know, kind of in and out. And they're going to try to come in to confuse you. You know, this Knight of Wands has turned into a King of Wands. So they're going to try to, you know, try to show up as someone that they think you want them to be. Because they went from the Knight to the King. You know what I'm saying? So there is a level of growth. Maybe they've learned something. Um, you know, because it says mirror reflect. So maybe they've done a lot of shadow work um, in the process. And um, you're not going to know who to say yes to. But I feel like you got to trust your intuition. This sword, you know, of boundaries is also the sword of truth. It gives you clarity. It gives you illumination. And so I feel like you got to trust what you feel and take appropriate action without delay, you know, because somebody is coming back or returning um, and they're returning as a king. You know, they're, 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 they're very, you know, they know what they want. Let me get one more message. 
Because I do feel like this childish person that was flighty, in and out, impulsive, unreliable, a player, player from the Himalaya who thought with their phallus. You see he's raising this wand above his head. So this is what takes precedence over everything. You know, his pleasure, pleasing himself, getting pleased. You know, and remember, you also had that incubus succubus. So they was, you know, they may have suck, um, sexual addictions, drinking addictions, drug addictions of some sort. And this is what was controlling them. And they were saying yes when they should have been saying no to situations. But I feel like this was the person that taught you how to be independent, how to be an individual, how to stand in your power, how to set healthy boundaries. And so we have now um, the Seven of Swords. See that? So this person is very deceptive. This is a very, uh, you know, deceptive person. They're sneaky. You know, so just as I was picking up that they're going to pretend like they grew with that King of Wands energy. This is what they're doing. They're, they're deceiving you. And you're the lion. So you are the sole controller. You are powerful. You are strong. You're the king of the jungle. But they're being duped. They're trying to dupe you so that they could, you know... Steal your energy, your source. These drinking water. And water water is your element. So this person's only coming in to do what? To take. You know, because they're greedy. So this, this greedy monkey is sitting there deceiving just to get what they want. All he wanted was water. So he was wearing a mask, a false mask. And this is why you are very, you know, you have your boundaries up. With this seven of cups, you're going to have multiple offers. You're going to be a little confused and conflicted. And that's why the divine is telling you that you have to um, say yes to the right things. We have ghetto heaven playing by the family stand. You know, um, so somebody was a little, um, you know, immature, not on your level, you know. So we have the two of pentacles. This is you. This is absolutely you juggling a lot, being a multitasker. You know, this is the two of pentacles. So this is also, you know, really dealing with a lot of responsibility. But it's all working in your favor because your patience is now, you know, garnering you the respect. You know, you're also being financially rewarded by the divine, your ancestors. This has led to some level of growth. But I feel like you've mastered your craft. As we saw, you know, you all have talents in the art. So a lot of you are juggling not only, you know, your job, but your passion, your family. But with the arts here, and we see this person in the background playing the piano up here. So it's like you were mastering your craft, sharpening your sword, working in the craft, you know, studious energy, building your talent. And so next we have the, the devil. See that? So this is what's trying to distract you, throw you off kill. You was dealing with very demonic energies, but I feel like it led to your personal growth. You started to trust your intuition. You started to take, you know, any of your concerns to source. You devoted the time, the energy to set your intention, to ask for guidance, to ask for protection, you know, and you didn't allow that devil to distract you. You know, the devil is deceptive. The devil is a liar. Pretty much like what this energy is doing here. So, you know, this energy is still flighty, still immature. This is still that second childhood. So they still haven't grown up. But this devil is trying to, you know, have you stuck in some sort of codependent connection. And the divine is telling you to stay diligent, you know, because you are freeing yourself. And also use your first eye to see. You know, the divine sees all. That's why these eyes are everywhere. So it's like, trust your intuition, trust your inner gumption. You're receiving downloads, divine interventions. You're receiving some form of transmission. So trust what you feel within your own spirit. Because the divine is guiding you and telling you what to do. But you do have someone very, very um, calculating. You know, this is a very calculated energy. So they know what they're doing. They're intentionally being deceptive so that they could drink your water, so that they can use you, so that they can, um, you know, so that they can uh, get some of that, some of that, them coins, you know, even your energy, you know, your energy is a life force. And that's literally what he's drinking. He's drinking the water. Water is a, a natural healing element. So even giving them your time, 
and your attention, whoever this attention whore is, is almost like giving them your energy. So you have to, you know, you got to egg the ignorant, so to speak, and trust your intuition. Be the observer. Look at things from that bird's eye view and feel, feel, you know what I'm saying? Go with what you feel. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for tuning in and tapping in. Until next time, send a big fat ashe. If you're new to the channel, definitely hit the bell notification um, so that you know whenever I upload. Hopefully, you'll stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what the um, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Um, definitely hit the like, share, the subscribe button, okay? And I want to send a big fat ashe. Peace to you all. Love you all.